knowledge management can make a difference in organizations to transfer knowledge, to avoid hyperactive behavior where everyone asks questions on Slack or instant messaging, because you can then build a centralized system where people can search for answers to their questions. And also, if you want to scale your business or sell your business, knowledge management becomes even more important because when you put together guides and SOPs on how you do things, investors become much more attracted to your business because the value increases, because there is a clear structure in place. In Notion, you can manage your SOPs and business processes in one place. And recently they launched the Wiki, that is a native out of the box feature that allows you to do that. But the Wiki is not only the only way to manage resources and SOPs in Notion, there are three ways and the Wiki is only the latest way. So in this video, we're looking at how you can manage SOPs in Notion in three ways, two older ways and one new way, that is the Wiki, where the older ways are merged into one system that harmoniously allows you to have the flexibility of a Notion page with the structure of a Notion database. And that's what a Wiki looks like. And the first ways to manage SOPs in Notion were either having a page or having a database. So a page would look like this, where you have here some sections, maybe you could decorate it with images and titles and thumbnails. And you have within those sections, standalone pages that are not part of a database. So they are not centralized, but rather they would just be pages that you can open without any properties, but just with content on the page, just like this. And the advantage of this is that you can build more aesthetically pleasing pages because the Notion page is a canvas where you can start and let your imagination go wild to build different sections and colors and use colors and inspiration. And the disadvantage of this option is that you didn't have a structured system where people can search exactly for their questions in one place. Because to search for something, they will need to use the search bar here at the top left corner of the sidebar menu in Notion. And that also gives results across the entire workspace. And so things would be messy from a data structure standpoint. The second option to manage SOPs in Notion before the wiki was to build a database of SOPs and resources. And that would look like this, where you have each row is a page. It doesn't look inspiring, but it's much more structured. And when you open that page, you can then have properties within that page or similar to columns in a spreadsheet of a specific data type so that you can have owners, you can have tags and you can categorize things accordingly and still while maintaining the content of that page inside of it. And the advantage of this is that you can search across the database from the top right corner here on the search icon. And you can also filter for specific information and you can also assign specific people to each SOP so that they are kept up to date and they don't expire. The disadvantage of this system was that you can't build a very pretty dashboard when you have a database because the database is optimized for structure. And so it doesn't look as good as a page with simple standalone pages under specific sections. And that's why recently Notion built a wiki that is a hybrid between those two options, meaning you have the structure of a database and the freedom in imagination and aesthetic of a page. Meaning that whenever you create a page in a wiki here, that page also reflects on the home page of the wiki where you can build a, an aesthetically pleasing section based dashboard. So for example, if I were to create a new page in this wiki, and that's the page test, here I will have some database properties as per usual when you have a notion database. The owner and the verification are standard properties in the wiki that you want to always keep. You can't delete them because that's an out of the box feature of Notion. And it's a new direction that Notion has taken because usually Notion allows you to build your own systems and it just gives you building blocks. But this time Notion decided to optimize for a specific use case, meaning the wiki or knowledge management, which is a pretty huge pain point in organizations worldwide. And the verification allows you to be reminded or specifically the owner of this document to be reminded when the document expires and you need to review it. And that's, can be, that can be game changing to keep things up to date and make sure that people do not find out outdated information in the system. 
And then you still have the page here where you can write down all the content for that SOP or resource or whatever that is. And once this page is created, it then shows up on the home page as well of the wiki. And pages are appended down below on the home page. That's not an ideal behavior, but really that's the only way it works if you add that page from the database. Whereas the other alternative is that you add the page from the home page under the dedicated section. For example, if I'm creating an analytics page, I will do slash page, and that's a new page that I've just created. I still have the properties there because this is part of a database again. And at the same time, if I go back to the main database, all pages, I will find page test two here as well. And that's the best approach to using the Notion Wiki right now that I can think of to make sure that things do not get disorganized on the home page. And when you have the flexibility of the home page and the structure of a database, you can then create multiple views for that content. For example, pages I own, meaning the person looking at this view is owning. And that's a very powerful feature in Notion to using <coughs> to use a filter that says where owner is me, and me is dynamic. That's very powerful for teams to ensure that all the other content that is not really interesting for me as part of a team that owns documents, everything goes away, and I just see at my documents the ones that I need to maintain. And that reduces the noise in the overall digital workspace. So really, that is it. We've just, saw, we've just seen the three ways to manage SOPs in Notion, the two old ways, and the latest wiki feature out of the box that Notion built that merges the flexibility and aesthetically pleasing design of a home page with the structure and systematized functions of a database in one place. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. You will find all the relevant links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching for now and see you soon.